This splendid media project has been created by Monique Offord and Nicholas Kemper. Welcome to the history of the origami crane. Origami is the Japanese art of paper folding. However, origami did not start in Japan. It began in China in the 1st or 2nd century and then spread to Japan sometime during the 6th century. At first, there was very little paper available, so only the rich could afford to do paper folding. As easier paper making methods were developed, paper became less expensive. Origami became a popular art for everyone, no matter if they were rich or poor. For centuries, there were no written directions for folding origami models. The directions were taught to each generation and then handed down to the next. This form of art became part of the cultural heritage of the Japanese people. It was a Japanese custom that if a person folded 1,000 cranes, they would be granted one wish. It wasn't until 1797 that the first written instruction on how to fold a paper crane was published. Then in the 1900s, the origami spread to England and the United States. The following video is a newscast of four elementary students that folded a thousand cranes for the earthquake victims in Japan. Young American schoolgirls have created 1,000 origami cranes to offer to the people of Japan. The inspirational fundraising activity follows an ancient Japanese tradition for promoting goodwill and hope. An old legend promises that anyone who folds a thousand origami cranes will be granted a wish, such as a long life or recovery from illness or injury. A young girl from Southern California has created 1,000 cranes to be sent to earthquake and tsunami victims in Japan in a gesture of hope and goodwill. Ten-year-old Taylor Vaughan was shocked by the images on television of children suffering after Japan's worst earthquake on record and resulting tsunami. Determined to raise funds for the relief effort, Taylor joined forces with Project HOPE, an international humanitarian aid and health education organization. During her research, she came upon the old Japanese legend of origami cranes and decided this was the ideal fundraiser. She then organized an origami workshop with a group of her school friends from Pasadena, California. The girls managed to create the 1,000 cranes in just two weeks, getting together after school or during recess in order to meet their goal. I thought of Japanese culture and I thought of origami and I found out that these cranes represent um, good wishes, prosperity, hope and good luck. Let's now learn how to fold an origami crane. Start with a square piece of paper. Fold the square in half diagonally. Fold the half from right to left diagonally again. Spread the pocket out from the middle and fold to make a small square. Your paper should look like this. Now turn it over and do the same to the other side. Now here's the tricky part. Fold the left and right corners towards the center line. Now do the same to the other side. Then fold the top. Unfold the corners. Now open the pocket by pulling the bottom corner up and fold inward along the crease. Some creases will become inverted. The figure should look like this. Be careful to score the edges and corners cleanly. Turn over and do the same. Fold in the lower flaps. Make sure you have the right side up. The sides to the middle and do the same to the other side. Reverse the fold at the center line from the head. Slightly open the side and bring the head part up like this. Do the same for the tail on the other side. Reverse the fold to form the beak. Bend the wings down and out into the proper position. Now you have an origami crane. <laughs> 